Ethan and Melody had met in high school. He was a tall, skinny guy with a serious look, and she was a kind, cheerful girl with lush hair and a bright smile. They were friends and then a couple. In high school, they already knew they were going to get married. Their love grew stronger every day, and they dreamed of a future together. A few years after graduation, Eden and Melody were married. They had three wonderful children, two sons and a daughter. Their lives were full of joy and happiness. Melody was a humble wife, religious and devoted to her family. She devoted herself to caring for her children and husband, and worked as an art teacher at the local school. Eden was content with his life, and he thought they were doing well. He worked hard to provide for his family, and came home each evening with joy and stories about his day. Melody cooked delicious dinners, helped the children with their homework, and always made sure Eden relaxed with his family. So they lived more than 20 years, Eden was sure that, thanks to the fact that many years ago, he made the right choice of life partner, his family life will go well. And many years later, they would be old men already receiving their large family with grandchildren and great-grandchildren for the holidays. But one day, Eden accidentally learned something that turned his life upside down. His neighbor, their oldest son's 22-year-old buddy, Brandon, told him the awful truth Melody was cheating on him. Brandon told him that the spark between them had flared up after last Christmas, when his mother baked cinnamon buns and asked Brandon to treat the neighbors. Eden and the kids, who were visiting for Christmas vacation, went skiing for a couple of days. Melody invited Brandon over for tea, and they talked all evening. The next day, Brandon brought the book he had told Melody about the day before and didn't leave until the next morning. From then on, they met regularly. Melody realized that Brandon was too young and they couldn't have anything in the future, worried about cheating on Eden. But she couldn't help herself. It seemed utterly unbelievable to Eden. How could his humble and faithful wife cheat on him? Slowly, Ethan began to gather evidence. He found messages and pictures that confirmed their affair. Every time he saw them together, his heart was torn apart. It was hard for Ethan to hide his emotions and pretend he didn't know anything in front of the children, who were beginning to suspect something unusual anyway. When Eden had finally gathered enough evidence, he decided to talk to Melody. They sat down and had a long and serious talk. Melody confessed her affair and began to cry, apologizing to her husband. Her words pierced his heart. She said she felt lonely. She had no one to talk to about anything but household and parenting issues. And Brandon gave her the attention she'd missed for so long, took an interest in her feelings and emotions. He discussed modern art and new literature with her. It was hard for Ethan to forgive but he decided to try to save his marriage. He went to counseling with a marriage counselor, and they began working together to repair their relationship. It wasn't easy, but over time, they both realized that their family was more important to them than a fling. Time passed, and Eden and Melody's family became happy and strong again. They learned to forgive and build trust all over again. Life gave them a second chance, and they decided to make the most of it to keep their love and family together. Although the wound of betrayal remained, they decided to move forward and look forward to the future, knowing that love and commitment to each other was the most important thing in their lives.